It's difficult to remember, I was, I, was, I was so young. Where we lived in Hatfield, there was a guy opposite. He would build models, and then he had a radio control car. I must have been four, and this thing was super fast. He came over and he let me have a go, and my dad couldn't believe I was so good at it. I was bombing up and down the driveway with this thing. And then that's, I think that's where my dad first saw that I was pretty awesome at it, and so he bought me one. In the countryside, there was a farm where they'll do radio control racing, and I don't know how he found it, probably through the model shop. And I went, I must have been the youngest by at least 10 years, and that's when racing started. I think I was around five years old, I started watching Formula One, and I wanted to be Superman or Ant Center. I would have preferred to have been Superman, because that would have been pretty cool, but, um, <laughs> But obviously that's not possible, so I um, ended up being, yeah, but of course I never knew that was actually going to be a Formula 1 driver. It's just like, you know, a kid wants to be a fireman, doesn't actually mean he's just never going to be a fireman. If there's something you really, really want to do, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Don't let any grown-ups tell you you can't do it. I had school teachers and other kids' parents tell me that I wasn't ever going to amount to anything. Never lose that belief in yourself because that's fortunately for me, I was able to, I held that belief in myself through my whole life. That belief is what got me to where I am today. <laughs>